Welcome to the Animaps Animated Shapes tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how to easily create animated lines and animated shapes. Let's start with an animated line. I want to animate the Battle of the Bulge, a battle in Europe towards the end of World War II. I start as usual. Create a new map, give it a name, and a duration, 10 days for now in this case. I will also zoom to the area that I am interested in and set the viewpoint. Because we know the actual date that this occurred, I can set the start date as known and enter the date 16th December 1944. I will also change the playback time to say 8 seconds. Now let's draw the starting line. You can draw lines similarly to Google Maps, click the line button and draw away. Notice that a new shape section has appeared in the left hand side showing your new shape. You can finish drawing your line by either double clicking the last point that you create or clicking finish editing on the left. You can see that you can change the colour of the line and in advanced mode you can also change the width and the opacity. I will switch to advanced mode so that we can see this in the user settings dialog. Turn it on and now we can set the width, say 5 pixels, and the opacity which is how transparent the line is. For more information on the added features in advanced mode, see the advanced settings overview tutorial. You animate lines and shapes by first clicking on Animate Me. You now move to each time period where you know what the line will look like and add a new frame. Let's add a frame for the 20th of December, after the Germans had made their attack, but were held up near Baston. For this frame, we will use the edit technique. Clicking on edit will show us the previous frame position and we move it how we like. There's best on there. And another advance here. This is good in situations where most of the line is unchanged from the previous frame. Finish by double clicking or clicking finish edit on the left. Now let's move to the 25th, about the limit of the German advance. For this frame, we will use the new technique. This lets you create a new line from scratch. It is important to draw the line in the same direction as previously, in this case, top to bottom. Moving to the end, the last technique is Add, which lets you add new points to the end of the line. You can see that we have been given the ability to add new points to the end. Note that this is not the same as creating a route. If you want that, you're best off animating a marker. By default, Animaps, Animaps will generate the steps in between the frames you have specified, which you can see by moving the time slider. If you don't want this to happen, and you only want to show the frames that you have created, uncheck the Smooth Animation checkbox for that shape. Let's leave it on for now. Each of the frames that you have drawn appears in the timeline for that frame. You can click on each frame to move to it 
and see more details. You can change the time that each frame occurs and you can add a stop time. The stop time is only relevant if you are using the smooth animation. It will pause at the current frame for the time specified before continuing on with the animation. Let's say that the time paused at the second frame for one day. Stop here, make it relative for one day. Moving the time slider we can see that at that point it pauses before continuing on. You can also use this lift list on the left to delete any frames that you don't want. I'll remove the last frame. I'll also pause the frame before it for a day so that it continues all the way to the end. Let's save what we've got and view the playback. There we see the pause and then continuing on to the end and pausing again. Cool. Now let's look at animated shapes. To do this, we will create a map showing a hypothetical ash cloud over Europe caused by an Icelandic volcano. New map. We'll leave the duration at one day and we will set the viewpoint. Because I'm in advanced mode, setting the viewpoint is slightly different. Again, we'll change the playback time to 8 seconds. To draw a shape, we click on the line button again and draw as before except this time finishing by clicking on the point that we started at. From now on, Animaps will treat this object as a shape, not a line. You are given additional options to set the color and the opacity of the fill inside the shape. We'll change the color to black and give it a gray fill as well. Maybe a bit darker. We animate the shape by clicking on Animate Me. We'll create our second frame using the Edit technique. Click on Edit and we are given a list of all of the points that we can edit as before. Finish by double clicking or clicking Finish Editing on the left. For the third frame, we will use the new technique. For shapes, it is important to draw the shape starting at the same compass point and especially drawing in the same direction. For the first shape, we started at the top left and went anti-clockwise. Let's do the same here. There we go. The add technique is not as applicable to shapes, but you can experiment with it if you like. At this point, we want the cloud to split in half. Let's move to almost immediately after the current frame and edit the existing shape to remove that section at the top.
we will also create a new shape to replace that section. We'll give it the same color and opacity as the existing shape. Now we animate the new cloud. Let's create frames for the two clouds moving apart and getting smaller. We will do this for the first cloud using the new method. Again, drawing a cloud in the same direction as always. We'll also create a new cloud for the top half. As with all markers, lines and shapes, if you do not continue the animation all the way to the end of the map duration, it will disappear during playback. We will use this to our advantage. By having our last frame just before the end of the map, the shapes will disappear right at the end. We'll create one last new with the cloud very small now and one last new at the top as well. Let's see how that looks in playback. Okay, cloud gets bigger, splits in half, moves down to nothing and disappears. Great! That's all for this tutorial on animating shapes and lines. Happy map making!